Sa video ng ito, let's talk about ratio and proportion. Ilalagay ko rin sa description ng video ng ito kasi meron na tayong mga na-upload na lumabas na dati sa civil service exam. Ngayon dito tayo sa basic. Kilalanin natin kung ano itong ratio and proportion. Definition muna tayo. A proportion is simply a statement that two ratios are equal. It can be written in two ways. Itong example, A over B is equal to C over D as two equal fractions. Or using a colon, A is to B is equal to C is to D. Number one, a ratio of two is to three is the same as the following. Except. Now, 2 is to 3 can also be written in fraction form as 2 over 3 at meron sa letter B. Ngayon, ang tanong ay exact. Itong 2 is to 3, kung i-multiply natin ng 2 ito, dapat i-multiply din natin ng 2 itong si 3. So, 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 2 is equals to 6. So, it must be 4 is to 6. Ang nandito sa letter A ay 4 is to 9. Kung may 4 ka, dalawa ang 4, ito lang yung tama. 4 is to 6. Therefore, ito na yung except natin. Yan yung mali. Next, dito tayo sa 6 is to 9. Kung pwede ba siya or proportion ba siya dito sa 2 is to 3. 6 is to 9. Paano maging 6? Magmultiply tayo ng 3 sa 2 and that is 6. Kung magmultiply tayo ng 3, magmultiply din tayo ng 3 sa isa. So, then, this is 6 is to 9. Tama. Next, itong 20 is to 30. 2 is to 3. 20 is to 30. Obviously, proportion sila kasi kung magmultiply ka ng 10 dyan, magmultiply ka rin ng 10 dito. 2 times 10 is equals to 20. 3 times 10 is equals to 30. So, tama ito. So, ang sagot dito sa number 1 na mali ay itong letter A. Next, dito na tayo sa number 2. A ratio of 3 is to 2 is the same as the following. Except, 3 is to 2 can also be written as 3 over 2. So, ang 3 over 2, tama tayo sa letter A. Next, Mayroon tayong 12 is to 8. Now, itong 3 over 2, kung i-multiply natin si 3 ng 4 para maging 12, dapat i-multiply din natin ng 4 si 2. Kung mag-multiply tayo ng 4 sa taas, ganun din sa baba. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. So, therefore, itong letter E ay tama. Dito muna tayo sa letter C. That is... 300 is to 200. Obviously, mag-multiply tayo ng 100 sa both numbers. 3 times 100 is equals to 300. 2 times 100 is equals to 200. There, therefore, ratio yan siya or proportion yan sa ating 3 is to 2 na ratio. So, tama yan. Next, ito namang 15 is to 10. 3 is to 2. I-multiply natin or wag na tayo sa multiply, multiplication. I-divide natin. 15 divided by 3 and that is 5. 10 divided by 2 and that is 5. Kapag pariho yan, meaning proportion yan sila. Next, ito nang dito sa 9 is to 4. Siya lang naman ang natira. So, siya, yeah, siya na yan obviously ang exact natin. 3 is to 2. 9 is to 4. 9 divided by 3 is equals to 3. 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. Hindi sila pariho. So, therefore, hindi yan proportion. So, ito na yung exact natin. Next. Number 3. A ratio of 4 is to 5 is the same as the following. Exact. Ang 4 is to 5 can also be written in fraction form as 
four fifth. So letter A ay tama na tama yan siya. Ngayon meron pa tayong isa pang fraction. Kung itong numerator natin ay i-multiply natin ng 2 and that is 8. Kung itong denominator natin ay i-multiply din natin ng 2 dapat pariho and that is 10. So therefore, ang 8 over 10 ay proportion sa 4 fifth. So tama itong letter A. Next, itong 16 is to 20. Kung proportion ba siya sa 4 is to 5. Ganito ang gagawin natin. 16 divided by 4 is equals to 4. 20 divided by 5 is equals to 4. Pariho silang 4, therefore, proportion yan siya sa 4 is to 5. Next, itong 45 is to 55. Kung proportion ba siya sa 4 is to 5. Ganito pa rin ang gagawin natin. I-divide natin kasi mas maganda siya. And I hope sa ganitong paraan, mas naintindihan nyo. 45 divided by 4 and that is 11.25. 55 divided by 5 and that is equals to 11. Hindi sila pariho. Therefore, hindi yan proportion at yan na yung except natin. By the way, sa actual na exam, once makita mo na yung sagot, huwag nyo nating tingnan yung iba pang mga choices kung obvious naman na yan na yung sagot. Anyway, Ipagpatuloy lang natin itong 40 is to 50 kung proportion ba siya sa 4 is to 5. Obviously, proportion siya. Kasi kung i-divide mo ito sa 4 and that is equals to 10, kung itong 50 divide mo sa 5 and that is equals to 10, pariho sila. So, proportion itong 40 is to 50, proportion siya sa ratio na 4 is to 5. Next, dito na tayo sa number 4. A ratio of 1 is to 3 is to 5 is the same as the following except. Obvious naman na itong letter D ay hindi proportion dito sa 1 is to 3 is to 5. Pero isa-isahin natin yung nasa choices. A. 11 is to 33 is to 55. Kung proportion ba siya sa 1 is to 3 is to 5. Ang gagawin natin, 11 divided by 1 is equals to 11. 33 divided by 3 is equals to 11. 55 divided by 5 is equals to 11. Therefore, proportion yan sila. Next, 2 is to 6 is to 10. Kung proportion ba sa 1 is to 3 is to 5. 2 divided by 1 is equals to 2. 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. 10 divided by 5 is equals to 2. Therefore, proportion itong 2 is to 6 is to 10. Bakit nga ba, ma'am? Kasi ito yung original 1 is to 3 is to 5. Kung i-multiply natin yan ng 2, that is equals to 2. Kung i-multiply natin ng 2 itong si 3, that is equals to 6. Kung i-multiply natin itong 5 by 2, that is equals to 10. Next, dito tayo sa 4 is to 12 is to 20. Kung proportion ba siya sa 1 is to 3 is to 5. 4 divided by 1 is equals to 4. 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4. 20 divided by 5 is equals to 4. Pariho lahat, so proportion din siya. Obviously, itong letter E ay proportion din. Next, dito na tayo sa number 5. A ratio of 250 is to 150 is to 50 is the same as the following exact. Dito tayo sa letter A. Yung ratio natin ay 250, 150 at 50. Kung proportion ba siya sa 25 is to 15 is to 5. Obviously, Proportion itong letter A. Zeros lang naman ang nawala dyan. So, proportion siya. Next, itong 10 is to 6 is to 2. Kung proportion ba siya dito? 250 divided by 10, and that is equals to 25. 150 divided by 6, and that is equals to 25. 
50 divided by 2 and that is equals to 25. So, i-multiply mo lang itong 10 by 25, itong 6 by 25, itong 2 by 25. Proportion na siya dito sa 250 is to 150 is to 50. Therefore, tama ito. Next, dito tayo sa 1,000 is to 600 is to 200. Kung proportion ba siya dito sa ating itong given na 250, 150 at saka 50. Ang gagawin natin, balik na rin natin. 1,000 divided by 250. And that is 4. 6,600 divided by 150, and that is 4. 200 divided by 50, and that is 4. So, therefore, proportion, kasi pareho lang yan, so proportion itong letter C. Next, si letter D. 20 is to 12 is to 4. Dito natin ilagay itong 250, 150, at saka 50. 250 divided by 20, and that is 12.5. 150 divide, div, divided by 12, and that is 12.5. 50 divided by 4, and that is 12.5. So, therefore, proportion sila kasi pareho lang. So, itong 20 is to 12 is to 4 ay proportion sa 250, 150, at 50. So, therefore, itong letter E, obviously, hindi yan proportion. Try natin. 250 is to 150 is to 50. Tapos, ito yung pang-divide natin. Yung previous na mga examples natin, kung ano yung nasa choices, yun yung i-divide natin. Dito naman, ito yung ginawa natin pang-divide kasi sa given, mas malaki siya. 250 divided by 5, and that is 50. 150 divided by 3, and that is 50. Pero pagdating dito, 50 divided by 2, and this is 25. So therefore, hindi yan proportion sa given natin. Thank you for watching at abangan yung mga future videos natin. And please see description ng video ito kasi ilalagay ko yung mga links yung na-upload na natin dati na actual na lumabas mismo sa civil service exam.